Yeah, this this one uh, it's kind of it's a little bit different from the others uh, because well the name uh, uh, the name kind of gets some attention and, and, and also but it was it's my first single author uh, paper and I kind of uh, uh, try to uh, give a shot I, I was uh, I had this idea to know oh, maybe I should try uh, alone to see how it goes and I I always try to put this uh, nice joke names in the title I think get some more extra attention uh, but also I mean it, it actually say, says something so reputation stake means uh, uh the stake in here is actually proof of stake right and, and so the idea is to try to construct uh, a reputation system on a blockchain uh, uh, which works with, with proof of, of stake uh, and uh, uh well the rest of the title is a little bit more <laughs> longer <laughs> right a trust layer of a decentralized ledger for multi-party computation and reputation fair uh, lottery uh, it, what what basically says that uh, uh, over on the top of our, uh, uh, the blockchain, the, the proof of stake blockchain, we somehow do some activities that we can actually, uh, how can I say, com compute uh, reputation for, for participants. Uh, and the reputation fair lottery is that you can build uh, instead of uh, a stake based, I mean, so proof of stake, you can actually have a a proof of reputation on the top of the proof of stake system. So it is uh, a, a, in, in the sense that you, if you have more, if your reputation is better, your chances to 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 be selected to to, to build a block are higher. So very analogous to proof of work and proof of stake. So that's for 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 the title. Uh, what we gonna uh, uh, so what we are saying earlier. The idea is to get a general uh, idea of the paper, uh, so not exactly go for for the whole details. But even though in the end uh, there are some some uh, heavy uh, notation, but I will try to to make it light. Uh, and I think that's 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 quite okay. We can we can go that. But what we're gonna see is uh, to just review this presentation was uh, I, I did uh, uh, in the in a Korean conference called ISISC in December, uh, and uh, some so so sometimes when we present blockchain related stuff in a cryptography conference, we have to review uh, basic concept, concepts for delegated proof of stake. That's why this is in here. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, usually, that's the case for 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 cryptography conference, you have to go to this uh, very basic concepts, but I'm sure you guys are familiar with it, but we're gonna go through it. Uh, and uh, uh, the a related work is, as I mentioned, uh, uh, is deals with the reputation, but in this case it's called, uh, uh, is, 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 it relates with MPC. MPC stands for multi-party computation uh, and multi-party computation is uh, when you put uh, what it is. It is uh, you want to do some computations, but instead of one single computer doing this uh, uh, computation, uh, what happens? You have a set, a group of computers, and they have their uh, private inputs, and they they interact among themselves, exchanging messages, and they in the end jointly uh, make a computation. Uh, there is this work which uh, uh, deals with MPC. Uh, usually, it doesn't come with reputation, but there is one one work which actually deals with reputation. So the so the computers in the set has a they have reputations. Uh, the other work is the one that I mentioned already. Uh, uh, with there is a paper which deals with proof of reputation. We're going to see both of them very briefly, uh, and these are kind of crucial to what uh, uh, we did, did this paper because basically we're going to revisit those two works uh, in, in the light of stake in a, in a blockchain, uh, uh, the proof of stake blockchain. Uh, and then we're going to go through the goal and, and what exactly the contribution here, you, you, you'll see that's just a, an add-on into these two works uh, and, and how we actually did it. So I guess that's for 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 the overview. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, I mean, if you guys have questions, I think we can just uh, fire them away in the middle. Uh, there was a time in the end, but uh, I guess that's fine. Okay, so yeah, so the legate proof of stake. Well, uh, I guess uh, we know more or less, right? That we don't have hash uh, race uh, like proof of work. What we do have are the stakes. So here we have the, the coins. And, and basically, uh, uh, we're going to make this lottery uh, on the coins. So whoever gets the coin which is selected through this lottery uh, uh, algorithm, this, off, this lottery protocol, will be the one selecting the, uh, the next block. Uh, one thing that sometimes is not directly mentioned is that uh, uh, we require this the the, 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 um, the computers, the participants of such a, a, a protocol to be online. Because if they are not online and their their coins are selected, uh, they'll well they're not online, so they'll not issue the block right. So that's why uh, if that happens too much, uh, uh, then the protocol may be insecure. Right? Because the ratio between the honest and uh, uh, adversary uh, participants will shift to the malicious, uh, to the enemy, enemy, to the adversary, right? So, uh, so that's why the delegation happens, right? So it's a feature that before you're going offline, uh, you delegate it, uh, and uh, so if your coin selected, the, the the person, the computer, the system that you delegated will. Uh, pick the next block on your uh, behalf. So, and here is uh, uh, why we have stake pools, right? So we, the computers delegate uh, their their rights, uh, the participants their rights to 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 this stake pool, which is this aggregate the stake, the right over the stake. Okay, so yeah, here is just animation. What happens? So, if your coin is selected and you had delegated to a coin to your coin to to the to the stake pool, uh, they will uh, generate the block. Okay. So uh, the DPoS, the delegated proof of stake, is used in practice. We know the Cardano actually uh, relies on that. It's in the point in the real world, and it's this is just an introduction to Cardano. I guess uh, we all know. Uh, one thing that maybe is not so much, uh, uh, I mean, widely spread is that there was a, a work on that. Uh, and Caius Caracosa, so again, this Caius and Dimitris Caracosa and myself, we proposed this whole framework for the delegated uh, uh, proof of stake for specifically for Cardano. So this is how we specify how the addresses would look like and, and what functionalities we want. And in this work, we actually came up, well, this whole theoretical uh, uh, framework for, for, for security, which is called the universal, uh, universal composability framework. That's UC here, you see in the bottom. Uh, it's, it's, it, it is basically uh, um, it's a way to define security for protocols. So you define a lot of, for example, the MPC one that we mentioned have participants interacting we want them to work uh, uh, as a single entity in a specific way. So that's the, our, the functionality. Uh, so in a, such a way, if it's secure, usually is that those uh, set of protocol, set of computers, they work uh, so, so like synchronized, not synchronized in, in sense of time, but in the sense that they do things correctly. So they look one single entity, which is this functionality in this case, uh what we did is that uh, uh we created this core wallet so how the proof of uh, the delegated proof of stake uh, uh, should work this is our it's a mathematical definition so if all the participants work like properly honestly uh this should look in the in the higher abstract point of view as this definition mathematical definition which is correct i mean secure if something goes wrong, this connection is missed, and then you have problems. So that's that. So we and once we do this connection is closed, we don't need to care about how much how actually you implement the protocol. You just think in terms of this functionality, this definition. 
and you can plug in other protocols so you can compose bigger protocols in a modular way and so we came up with this functionality and this functionality actually is uh, uh yeah this is exactly what i'm saying here this functionality is actually is the one that uh, uh, details the actions of the delegated protocol so this definition tells okay you can you 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 can sign a transaction you can verify the transaction you can uh, uh, assign delegation you can revoke the delegation uh in in this high level um so this is in this work that uh, uh, i mentioned from 2020 uh it's, it's published so it's public available uh so yeah so this is let's put it aside a little bit and we're gonna get back into that this delegation framework now we're gonna reveal this the two works that i i mentioned in the beginning uh so one is the the mpc with reputation so for those who are more thirsty about theoretical works here is the the two references uh this this work uh, uh from uh azrov lindell and zazarov is the one that i mentioned that they do mpc uh the multi-party computation uh considering that the participants have a reputation score uh, and and it, it basically what they did i mean the results in this green uh boxes which is giving a reputation score what's a reputation score so each participant have a value associated from zero to one and it basically tells you the probability that this uh uh participant will behave dishonestly in some computation so if you have 10 participants you have this vector of 10 values uh and what they did is that if you if you look to the average score of this vector you can infer if the set uh then you have the the, the results i mean in the upper uh green uh box so you have if you look to the average and its average is, is i mean have some property matches some property then you are assured that uh in that group you have a honest majority and honest ma honest majority is something important at npc because then you can perform computations safely and that is the gmw part in that box because gmw part is the a protocol uh is a, a paper as well you can see the reference in the bottom uh so he said if you have this reputation score this reputation score satisfies some average uh then you are sure to you can sample and then you can you can compute your uh, npc and the other two is that uh, uh the one in the first the, the column in the middle right the, uh, which has the, the bracket uh it, it says this result says if you have again you have this vector uh, uh of reputation uh, but instead of uh, uh, you, you are not you are sampling a subset of a set. So it tells you if it satisfies this this average in the in the reputation vector, then uh, you know there is a group there of certain size that you can pick uh, safely again to perform MPC. And the the one in the I mean in the the color of the three boxes, the one in the bottom, is that you can actually safely pick in practice this subset and of course these two results adds that in you can in a subset with that vector you can do empathy so the first one the bottom is like you you can sam sample a set and the other deals with subset so it basically you can you look to the vector uh, the reputation vector you can select a group uh, with honest majority with high probability uh it doesn't say anything about how you construct the vector though it just say if you have the vector vector has this property good then you can do all those nice things that's that's it uh so about how about the other uh, remember we had two one deals with empathy the other deals with the the proof of reputation so there's this work uh and there is a typo here it's not intracrypt it's indocrypt <laughs> uh, uh and uh basically with this this uh, with this uh how to construct this uh, uh proof of reputation so it says that if you if you have this again a reputation vector 
uh, you can uh, uh, build this reputation uh, fair lottery. And given that, you can actually build this proof of reputation. And again, proof of reputation is just like the stake, but uh, you are you had a higher probability to be selected if you have a higher reputation score. Uh, okay, and well, this again is available uh, on, 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 on public available in the conference proceedings, but I think in the ePrint also. So we have these two works. Uh, please keep that in mind because, in fact, the whole the, the paper it gets back to this, but in the light of uh, uh, stake. So let's just continue. Okay, yeah, so here is the concrete reputation vector I, I was mentioning. So both the multi-party computation and the reputation fair lottery, they depend on this rep. Rep is the, the reputation uh, vector, but they do not construct the reputation vector. They just point properties and do uh, uh, inferences. I mean, rationale uh, uh, on how to build stuff with the reputation. It doesn't, doesn't say anything about the, the, the vector. Our goal here is actually construct one, one reputation vector, then plug into these two works uh, and show how we can actually do it. So further in that line, so we want to build this reputation vector, but how? So here's the idea. That's why I mentioned the delegation framework in the beginning, because what we're going to do is repurpose that delegation framework and then revisit these two works so from the, the delegation framework we adapt it to think in terms of uh, uh the reputation so trust uh and 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 then visit revisit these two works but in the light of the stake so okay so how this would look like so here is the, the intuition remember that we have the stake pool from the beginning and have the user and it delegates right so the, the intuition here is that when a user delegates the stake pool it basically says i trust this this pool so and this relationship uh, is verifiable in the ledger because when in the cardano for example when you do the delegation you actually sign you are signing a, a, a certificate and you are posting this certificate in the ledger. So it's so the two things here: you trust, and you and this relationship is visible, so everybody knows. So what will look like? So you have uh, in one side, in the right, you have trusters, so people who assign trust, and you have the trustees on the left, so people who will receive these assignments. And instead of delegation now, we th think in terms of trust, which, as we've seen, that is more or less the same thing. So one, one truster could, for example, just assign, I trust this person and this person. So in, in the first, in the top, uh, I receive the terse. The other, the second, the receive received from this, the, the one in the top, in the right. Uh, the one in the bottom, the right, will trust the two in the bottom, in the left. Just by doing the, exactly the same thing, uh, signing a certificate and posting. Uh, one more thing is that, well, uh, uh, this these trustees beforehand, they will kind of candidate themselves to be assigners, uh, assignees of trust. So they'll go to the to the ledger and say, for this context, which will be something like um, I don't know uh football so i'm i'm and people may I, and i trust this person is good in football so but before they'll go to the ledger and say okay i am a can candidate to receive trust about football or the other male science fiction some you will specify a context so for example the trustees all of them will say uh, uh mario will say okay i'm good at football so they contacted football uh the worker is a football for so they are and the in the cinderella was also say football so they are candidates in that context to receive trust uh, so as i was saying uh, uh, so it certificates so the trust the trusters will in a given context 
assign the trust. So, and it's, I mean, it's kind of very, uh, um, how can I say, general, the framework. So the trustee can just create one context. It'll kind of compete in some particular context. So, uh, for example, there on the first in the ledger, uh, the, the first trustor will select for this context, I'm assigning trust to Mario. Uh, and the second one will, the second one will, for this context, I'm assigning Cinderella and so forth. So that's how it, uh, uh, it works. Uh, and the, the, the good thing here is that since it's based on the delegation framework, I mean, all the machinery, most of the machinery uh, is already implemented so the system is being used. So that's that's one uh, advantage on, on, on that. Uh, one thing that uh, I didn't, I mentioned, but I didn't highlight it, uh, uh, I, I didn't emphasize that the trusters, they, they vote, they vote, they assign trust multiple times. So, but not for the same uh, trustee. So they're just saying, given 10 trustees, I, I trust this one, this one, this one, but not the others. I don't, it, there is no not trust vote, but it simply do not assign. And one more thing is that since it's delegation based, uh, it's easy to revoke because it's just like delegation, you can revoke easily. Okay, so how this score then will be uh, uh, created? So, so the idea is that it's basically get a percentage uh of the uh of the um, of the trust so for example if you have uh 10 10 participants assigning trust uh the this reputation score here is if it's just if you take a look this s's are in the in the bottom is just the sum of all which voted the stake of all voters assigners and the one in, on the top is just for for one trustee how much stake it received so it's basically a percentage uh, of among all uh, stake available how much you are you managed to to earn from the public so that's basically the score so in that sense it's pretty pretty straightforward so for example um, myself, if everybody who voted in one particular context voted in me, then it said that I'm a very trustworthy person because I have the score one. Okay, so now some some uh, time to make some critic about it. So what some I already mentioned is that some of the upsides that it's public visible. Uh, well, it's a concrete uh, uh, um, method, uh, and, and well, stake based, so uh, it's sort of re civil resistance. You cannot, uh, uh, you, you are the, the voter. I mean, the, the signers. They are, they have their their skin in the game because they are they're using the stake. Uh, well, there's you can the, the context uh, uh, strategy. It's quite general. Uh, any basically you can create out of the thin air. What is the context you are trying to to get trust? Uh, it's dynamic because it's based on stake delegation. I mentioned it before, uh, and it's easily deploy deployable because most of the delegation is already there. All the delegation systems are already there for the Cardano, for example. The downsides are that well, that depends on public perception. So it's you are assigning trust is something you, it's your opinion. So you think somebody is worth trust, uh, and also that stake may not be the ideal. How can I say metric to to prove or show uh, that somebody is uh, trustworthy in general, right? But it's still it's better uh, because uh, uh, if you don't have that, maybe you, you don't have much more uh, options. So it's just a sign uh, for for perhaps if you trust somebody who's doing who's doing this assignment, maybe you can uh, uh, also believe in yeah 
in, in, in any in any case, if you see somebody is not that trustworthy, you can just revoke your trust easily. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so now we have a concrete reputation vector. Uh, we know in general how it works. So now it's time to revisit the 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 two works that I mentioned in the beginning for the MPC for the reputation. Uh, and see how it will look like. That's perhaps the heavier part, <laughs> but let's go. So here, yes, <laughs> it's a bit heavy, uh, but that that I highlighted some some red. So that rep ms is actually the vector. I wonder if you can see my pointer. No, okay. So yeah, so here on the top you see rep. Uh, uh, line so this is the the small values the vector of r's and we have the trustees from t1 to tm not n uh and you have the regular and regular participants so these are the ones who will actually assign the trust uh and you have uh on the the markers on the bullets you have uh, the basic assumptions which is giving all the honors to regular participants the UH are the, the, the subset of honest. Uh, they will just assign trust only to honest trustees. So that's uh, one hypothesis that we are using. So, uh, and also that makes sense because, I mean, of course that we don't know in general is not true. People can be fooled. But since you can revoke easily, once the, the, the trustees show that it's not trustable, you can revoke it. Uh, so that's one uh, 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 one motivation for this hy hypothesis. So we have this hy hypothesis, and also here is the second one. The second bullet you see in the in the, in the left side of the inequality is the sum uh, of all. Uh, the S means the share. I mean, so the stake. Sorry. So so this the one at the bottom is the whole, like the score, the whole stake. And the one is the, the percentage of the honest users uh, uh, who assign it. It's greater than some value. So uh, this value is actually the, the comes from the MPC paper that I mentioned. So, so here's a criteria. If we have M trust, trusters, uh, trustees, sorry, uh, and we look into the shares to this, to the stakes and it's, the sum of all honest are higher than the overall sum of the voters, the assigners. Then you you are uh, a guarantee that you have an honest majority among all those uh, trustees. So, so that's the the translation is always in the blue box. So it's probability that the group of dishonest trustees is majority is negligible. So you are sure that you're gonna have honest majority, basically. If you look to this state uh, here again, <laughs> uh, these are actually in the paper. Uh, so, so here again, the same thing is that we there's an honest group of uh, among trustees that can perform MPC. So again, uh, there's a lot of text on the top, but this is for formalization. What we really care is the one that in the bottom with the, the lines. So again, in the bullets, you have the assumption of honest users assigned to honest uh, participants only. And you have the criteria for the stake too. So here saying we have the uh, uh, majority of honest stake. If it all above some certain criteria, then uh, we are sure that uh, uh, there are a group of uh, 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 trustee among those trustees that can perform MPC. So here's the thing, we are just, sort of repeating the results that I mentioned in the beginning, but instead of number of players, we are looking to the stake this time, and we are caring about the honest uh, uh, stake share. So here again, the same thing. So if there's an honest stake majority, a subset can compute uh, MPC. So uh, here there's one extra uh, uh, bullet, but just to, to make this the, the, the set the, the joint set among the subset and the the uh, dishonest participants, but it's basically looking to this to the to the stake 
uh, we can sort of guarantee that we have a, a subset that the, the majority is honest. <clears throat> Here is that the same thing, but you can uh, uh, not that the group uh, uh, is has an honest majority, but you can select, you can actually find the group if you look to the state. Yeah, this is the overall. If you if the group exists and you can actually select it, then putting these two lemma, lemma three and lemma four together, you can actually use uh, uh, you find this group to compute empathy. Uh, here is the last one with the heavy part. <laughs> uh, here is that uh, again uh, we we look into you you see that they are all look familiar specifically the second bullet because that's the stake so if they stake the honest uh, 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 some aggregation of stake in the overall is bigger to that value you can actually have this lottery fair lottery uh, algorithm and if you have the fair lottery algorithm then you can have proof of uh, 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 reputation so again is just by looking to the concrete uh, 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 reputation vector that we have that we have from the, the, the delegation framework. Finally, this is the final uh, final remarks. So basically, what we did is we take the Cardano uh, framework uh, uh, for delegation, and we add the functionality that you not only you you the functionality there the original one is the delegation. In that uh, uh, we add one extra action, which is assign trust and revoke trust. So we use all the theoretical framework which exists to build this layer that you can assign and revoke trust uh, on the top of a, a proof of stake uh, blockchain. With that, we can construct the reputation vector uh, and, and it's publicly verifiable. So everybody can look at it and compute the scores I mentioned. And, and with that, then you can actually look at it and uh, safely guarantee that you have a uh, uh, majority sets, uh, uh, honest majority sets, and then you can actually rely on them to, to compute uh, MPC and also reputation, uh, uh, proof of reputation. I mean. Uh, I guess that's it. I hope it was not that heavy in the end. I think we lost uh, one participant. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah but but th the idea is just to to build instead of delegate, you assign trust, and then you build this reputation directory, and then you can put some cryptography on that. That's maybe the main takeaway. Thank you. Thank you very much.